Hi, I'm Jeff Nimoy, the cooking caveman. No, not this type of caveman, but this type of caveman. A man who cooks with ingredients only available to the caveman. My motto, if you can eat it raw, you can cook with it. So let me show you some of the healthier things I cook with to replace some of the unhealthier things you cook with. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make your own ketchup. Everybody loves ketchup, but if you look at the ingredients on your favorite ketchup right now, I bet you find all kinds of nasty things. Well, we're gonna use only pure ingredients for this ketchup. First, we need some tomato paste. Let's not get crazy trying to get every little bit out there because we're gonna put a little lemon juice in this. Just get a little lime juice going as well. Instead of sugar, I'm gonna use some organic honey. What I did was I dissolved a little honey into some hot water and I'm going to pour that into here. Do it over the sink, obviously. And let's give that a nice shake. Get all the little bits of tomato paste off of there. There we go, we just add our mixture of honey, water, lemon, and lime juice. Let's save this because we're gonna use this to store our ketchup in afterwards. Now let's just mix this all together. It's starting to look like ketchup, isn't it? Give it a little taste. You don't want it too sour and you don't want it too sweet. Just a little more honey. Thanks, honey. You're welcome, darling. That's good. Okay, now obviously we need some spices. Certain spices are going to be staples in this. But I'll tell you, the more spices you put into your ketchup, the better it's going to be. So just use some staples and then add anything you like as well. So in my staples, black pepper, definitely garlic powder. Let's add a little onion powder. I don't use any salt personally, so I like to use a little celery seed. Celery has a lot of natural salt in it. I like to add a little paprika for smokiness. Cinnamon, you don't think of ketchup having cinnamon in it, but it does have a slight little thing, so let's just give a little bit there. Allspice, if you don't have allspice, nutmeg and clove is good too. Dill, of course. What's ketchup without dill? Let's use a lot of dill. Now if you have fresh herbs, that's going to make it even better. I actually have a few right here that I've already pre-chopped. I've got some rosemary, some fresh rosemary, and some fresh cilantro and uh, a little fresh basil. You don't have to use the fresh herbs, but if you have them, they will definitely kick your ketchup up to another level. This looks good. Okay, let's give this a taste. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's ketchup. It's real ketchup. It's unbelievable. So let's rejar this. This will keep in the refrigerator for a few months. But what I like to do is I like to put it in the freezer and then defrost it as I need it. Mmm. <laughs> Man, that is really good. Let me show you what else you can do using your own ketchup. I like to take some fresh organic horseradish and grate a little bit of it. Okay, I lied. I like to grate a lot of it. If you have a sinus problem, this will clear it right up. Let's take all this freshly grated horseradish Throw it right into our caveman ketchup. Woo! Freshly grated horseradish into some caveman ketchup, and you've got your own homemade cocktail sauce. Of course, we need something to eat the cocktail sauce with, and spoons are so gauche. Let's use a shrimp instead. If you have guests over and you serve this to them with homemade cocktail sauce, they will ugga bugga themselves. Okay, let's just spoon that right in the middle. Oh, look at this. Isn't that great? You know what else is great? The taste. Mmm. Oh my god. <laughs> that is so amazing. That sauce is outrageous. It's so good. Oh, look at that. Can you see that? Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. You better get over here and try some, because I'm going to eat the whole thing. For more information on your own homemade ketchup and information in general about the caveman diet, please visit cookingcaveman.com. My sinuses are starting to clear.